Tuesday, November 10th, 2009. It's time for Live from the Future with Stuart Peck. Tonight's guests, Gary Cannon and Mitch Fatel, with John Fulton and the Fultones and Jesse Schneiderman at the Message Center. And now, your host, Stuart Peck. Another one, and I'll, oh yes, I enjoy it. Buy yourself a Shasta. Hey everybody, welcome to Live from the Future. I am your Coke-fueled host, and man, uh, I don't say this often, I maybe once a week say this, but we have the greatest show ever tonight. That is right, we have, we have two comedians, my good friend Gary Cannon, and headliner Mitch Fatale, everybody, yes, yes. Uh, not only are Gary and Mitch here, they are they do the road together, very good friends, and uh, they rip it up all over the place, but Mitch is kind enough to uh, give away one of his uh, brand new DVDs. Mitch Fatel is magical. It's and magical. by the way, this True thing story. is uh, is top 10 on Amazon. I think it's number six of comedy DVDs. This is ripping it up. We're going to give one of these away tonight. We're also going to give away three of his CDs, Super Retardo. Uh, so here's what you got to do. Here's what you want to do, friends. Uh, if you're watching us live, you want to sign up for our Twitter page. Twitter.com slash live from future. Why is it live from future? Because it was either that or live from the future. <laughs> I'm actually not kidding. You run out of characters. Um, so that is what you want to do. And uh, when Gary and Mitch are on, they're going to throw out some questions, some challenges to you viewers. And, uh, and whoever wins, you're going to win some sweet swag. And if you know, we have been... We have been, I mean, we have been balls deep in swag. Last week, we gave away, let's itemize it for you, uh, three signed scripts, four autographed cast pictures, True and dad. one skateboard True dad. autographed True by dad. everybody. Um, so we've been giving away lots of swag. A lot of our friends and followers have been, uh, have been responding to it happily. Um, but I would, I, this has never happened to us, but we actually, I got an email, a well thought out email from somebody who watches the show. Well thought out watches the show. Yes, I... I Wait so, a oh, minute. Hold on. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to read this to you guys, then I'll introduce everybody here. You but this, this thing took me off guard. So this is what I got from, and it's addressed from Do you want some someone. reading music? You know what? I want some reading music. This was addressed to me about three, four days ago. Oh, and, it, it. and it's from someone. All right, and here's what it goes. About six months ago, I discovered your show, Live from the Future with Stuart Papp. <laughs> and have since watched all the backlog of episodes that are available on the stream and continue to watch new ones posted. He's got a lot of time on his hands. Clearly, I know this is, first of all, not a relative, right off the bat. Second Probably of all, not in, good shape either. Uh, in, in doing so, I've noticed that you seem to either despise or have some affiliation with Tallahassee, Florida. <laughs> okay, and my question is, why? Sure, Tallahassee is a capital city, <laughs> but it's not that popular for quasi-famous people on the West Coast to know about. <laughs> I mean, aside from our football team, uh, the last big thing to happen in <laughs> Tallahassee was the Tiger Sharks like 10 years ago. <laughs> and come on, ice hockey in Florida equals bad idea. Frowny face. <laughs> And yes, the Capitol building looks like a 50-story cock and balls. <laughs> but that's not your angle. No, you go for subtle jabs and prods in at least five episodes. Oh my God. And I'm too lazy to reference which one, so I'm just estimating here. So, if you could explain this phenomenon, I'd greatly appreciate it. Being probably the only person in Tallahassee that watches. Thanks. <laughs> uh, the show is awesome, by the way. What a dick. Though Full Ron has been using the same four chords for like two years now. <laughs> Dil I'm sorry, Dylan made a career out of it. My Someone bad. Someone that watches. Yeah, there Who is a motherfucker? You want to come right, up with new on. chords and I'm hold, good. You got like, you, you, you got an A14? I think he's mad. I'm mad. Hold on. Oh my you know God, what? Because like that's my trick. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm either First in G or A. Those need... are my, that's my key. Okay. Look. That's look. my key, bitches. First of all. You know what? I'm doing everything in flats tonight. John. Here's what I'm going to tell you. Mine are two. John, listen to me. This is somebody who's angry in Tallahassee. One, we know they're mo not motivated. In Still life. in America! Two, 
They're not going to get out of Tallahassee to come kick your ass. There are buses. Not in Tallahassee. And they only talk about the regional airport. Oh, so, so I, I was like, you know what? I guess we do reference Tallahassee once in a while. I and I went know. online to your Tallahassee state like governmental website. This is literally the first fact that comes up on Tallahassee, tal.gov. The first one is Tallahassee's regional airport celebrates 80th anniversary. <laughs> That's why we make fun of Tallahassee. I don't feel and bad. it sounds great coming off the tongue. That's all. I, first of all, the fact that you're watching and you're a fan in Tallahassee, hats off to you. But second of all, Tallahassee's got nothing really. Florida is good for a couple things: uh, serial killers, mm. dirt biking. And uh, serial killers doing some raping on a dirt bike. And that is about all Tallahassee slash Florida is really good for. But if you have a counter-argument, fan, I invite you to respond. And that's our little letter from somebody. So I, I, I don't want to say their name, but, uh, but thanks for reaching out. And thanks for watching, really. All right, uh, here's what I'm going to do. I don't do this show alone, you guys. I do it with two other people. Now, let's get on to our guests. Oh. Where are hey they? Oh, Did man. I just zinger? Somebody's on All right, fire. Uh, <laughs> I, if I could sleep with this next co-host, I would in a heartbeat. Uh, gorgeous flaxen hair, teeth that make you want to fix your own hair in them. That's how much they shine. And a voice that makes sparrows come out and go, who that? <laughs> I'm talking about Johnny. Full on, everybody. Yeah. There he what? is. Johnny. Oh, hey. I knew it was going to be Johnny when he said sleep with him. Yes, well, you know, one can dream. So good to see you still in blue. Are those like the so same four chords? So good to see you still in blue. Okay. So good to see you still Thanks, Dude, John. great to see you. Really happy to be here. You are, um, I'm pumped. I'm pumped. <laughs> Look at listen to you. Uh, and of course, we have the vivacious so and ebullient and effervescent and full of vim and vinegar and maybe Ovaltine if I keep Oops. my references 50s. Jesse Schneiderman, everyone. Jesse! Yeah. Jesse yeah. Schneiderman. What's up? Um, I am full of a lot of things, but not vim and vinegar. Yes. Jesse, uh, you match the backdrop tonight. Your blue shirt, your blue eyes. Um, say hello to some people in the chat room, won't you, with 30 seconds of IM names so we can know who's watching no, right I now. I would love to do that. Okay. I missed you guys so much. We missed last you. Week. We missed you. Uh, no, I missed you. Okay. I want to say what's up to. So, Will Smith, Whimsy, Urinal Mint, Timer FX, the DCD, The Big Boo, Steve, Sergeant Silent, Sean O, S1 Chicken, One Chicken, Ripper, 1.21 Gigawatts, Old Tiki Shoes, Norm, Ninja, Nice Guy, Nasfora Tutu, My Snooch, My Southworth, Lord Jonas, Monkey, Mad, Lila, Loyal, Casanova, Looper, Liam, Jin, Killer, Nail Bunny, Keller, Williams, Jams, KD, 7MXI, Jay Sanchez, Jay, Bor Jorm, Morm, Jizz Muffin! Jizz yeah. Here's a little fact about Tallahassee. It has service from Delta and U.S. Air. <laughs> is, anyone, is anyone feeling the Tallahassee love? Like, no. I don't know. All right. Uh, a big exciting night tonight. Uh, Rad Nerds is on at 10 o'clock. Rad Nerds. They're going to be, uh, uh, it's a brand new show. It's a, their pilot show. I think somebody in the studio just got hit on the head by a comical-sized anvil. Um, all right, so we have John and Jesse here, and we have Mitch Fatel and Gary Cannon. Uh, Mitch is uh, kind enough to give away a brand new... It's so... It even smells funny. Wait. It's a little off. And we have three super retardos. Look at these. They're so nice. I have that CD in my car. They're so nice. God, I was holding it upside down because I can't read. But I, I, I can tell it's a good CD because it's that high-grade plastic that makes you feel good about it as you drag your fingers across. It's a real like, CD. Like a real one. Like it doesn't have one of those sleeves. It's like, yeah, it's an EP in my band, but uh, we're going <laughs> to put together a full album. No, it's like, EP. This is real. So we have all that kind of stuff to give away tonight. Uh, we're going to bring on Mitch and Gary in about one minute. Uh, so here's what I want you to do. 
while you're waiting, I want you to join us at twitter.com slash live from future, live from future. And uh, that's the best way that you'll find out uh, how to win this DVD and these CDs tonight. Uh, here's what I'm going to do before I bring out Mitch and Gary. I have a brand new comedy sci-fi series that I did with a great group of people, Captain Films, up in Vancouver. Episode 2 just released yesterday on Babblegum. We're on the Babblegum homepage with a lot of really good content. Uh, so here's a tiny little teaser clip. The show is called Hurtling Through Space at an Alarming Rate. Myself and Mike Davies, Mike and Stuart, are hurtling through space in an apartment and we land on weird random planets. Today's episode, the planet of extremely sticky floors that make it impossible to do anything. Here's a clip. We'll be right back with Mitch and Gary. Stay right there. Watch it. Enjoy it. Love it. What's happening? We're in it. What's happening? We're in it. What's happening? We're in it. You know, I played that again, and I was like, I'm trying to get it to start, but it's only two seconds long, so I got to go back out to used to. <laughs> that was the most action-packed clip. Scene out, Stu. <laughs> they cut you out of the scene. Wait a minute. So is that all that's on the the media file? I, I, you know what? I'll, I'll play it again for effect, I guess. Hold on. <laughs> We're in it. <laughs> that's how, that's how, I thought I, I thought it was uh, I thought wow. it was two minutes and, Look, and it was two seconds four frames. We're Whoops. in a, we're in a new media age. We don't have time for even a word to get out. Uh, that was a word and a half. All right. Well, you looked amazing. I, I normally would check these things. Look at two minutes. That's plenty of length. Sure, it's two minutes. Okay. Two well, seconds. You know what? Here's what. Uh, if you want to watch it, go to babblegumcom slash. Uh, actually, it's on the homepage, babblegum.com, and uh, it's slash H-T-S-A-A-A-R. We'll show it one later. But, gotta uh, go to the website to find out. That's what you gotta do. All right. Uh, without further ado, I have not one. I have two comedians. Uh, I have a, an old friend of mine, uh, Gary. And uh, so I'm going to introduce my, my uh, two comedians here who do the road together. Please welcome Gary Cannon and Mitch Fatel, everyone. Welcome to the show, guys. He just said our name. Look at these guys. He just said our name. You do comedy? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, Stuart. Thank you so much this for having us. This is Gary. This is Mitch Thanks. for everyone. Um, first of all, thank you for being on the show. I'm like, I'm happy to be on the show because uh, I want to I want to sleep on Jesse Sch Schneiderman's vagina. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't even want to I don't even want to have sex with her. I just want to sleep on her vagina. Like, I, I want to nuzzle up to it. <laughs> that is the best place to sleep. And, and I can say, say that I would do that if I came on the show. Yeah. I don't, well. No, it was. It was in his writer, actually, <laughs> to be able to. It did say that there. Um, we will do that for you. Yeah. Jesse, are you, you're cool with that, right? Yeah. We I can, mean, you told me about the contract before. Yes. This, she has, <laughs> she has a vagina lease to own option. Because I'm Where's sick of sleeping on his penis. I know. <laughs> That's what we have in common. Let's get right to the beginning. Uh, so you guys are, well, I was just talking to him before. You guys have done like 45 dates on the road. And for those who are watching at home, uh, Gary opens up for Mitch. And, uh, He's my opening act. Right. He is. And, uh, and Gary and I know each other from stand-up. Very funny comedian. We've been and all over this great country. One of our favorite clubs, the Tallahassee Funny Bone. We love it down there. Some very intelligent audiences down there. We love it. I don't detect one ounce of sarcasm. We would take that room. That would be our Vegas. Like if we could do like a Vegas like blue man group show, we would go to Tallahassee and set up shop there for the year. I'm just thinking about Jesse's breasts. Okay. <laughs> um, while we get Jesse to reveal herself, anybody let's start... else bringing this much swag? By the way, no, nobody... nobody's bringing in this kind of swag, right? We're giving away. Uh, did you four... hear that? We had a skateboard last week we yeah. gave away. Somebody gave away a skateboard? Mitch is opening your own DV was this no, this is what Gary does on the road for me when he's selling it. I make a it percentage looks, of the it sales. Looks really good. Or you look like an Indian man with whiteout. You're we like, have no we longer. have almost uh, sixty-two dollars worth of merchandise that we're giving away tonight. Hey that is solid. Uh, <laughs> all right, so we 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 really have two guests, but here's what we're gonna do, Mitch. Since uh, since I'm not interested in Gary at all, I'm, <laughs> because I'm famous and you're not. Yes, and uh, uh, Gary is here because he promised me a dime bag. <laughs> and do you have that dime bag? I have it for you. Good. As soon as Jesse reveals to Mitch uh, it, her, her <laughs> vagina. Oh, it, it, I don't even want to. I don't even want to have sex. I just want to sleep on your vagina. Nuzzle. Yes. Like this. Like, well, you can believe that that's her vagina. Well, okay. You would be no, no. On it, it, well, you, hopefully wow. you would have shaved. Wait, this is her vagina? Yeah. It's bigger. This is me. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be photoshopping yes, in. So, all right. Yes. Uh, it's this, and then. Like, 
Okay, that's really good. And then in there, yeah. I, my vagina's not like a big bowl, you guys. It's not. No. Look, everybody <laughs> has opinions. Like it's like this. Uh, I'm so glad what that we got a solid three minutes in on, on Jesse's vagina <laughs> right up top. Uh, by the way, thank you to our new sponsor, the Church of Jesus Christ. Oh, there's Latter Day now. Saints. Uh, in yes, it's always Latter Day Saints. Gary, never the former Gary, Day Saints. that doesn't mean anything to him. He took, he met a Mormon girl, and um, and she had never had sex, and then he ha he made her lose her virginity to him. I've oh taken, I've taken wow. well, two she virginities was, in my lifetime. Yeah. In, 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 in her, her defense, <laughs> in her <laughs> defense, she was 13, so that she was <laughs> right for the plot. You just made this story so much hotter than it actually was. <laughs> I do what I can. Here. Stu has Conan hair. Uh, you know, I'm doing. <laughs> he does. I, yeah, like Conan. I, I I sculpted it just for you guys. You get that color, buddy? What's going on? I that's it, color, just right? like you, man. We go to the same salon. <laughs> Supercuts over I, on Olympic. Rudy's. All right, this is go why ahead. I can't do two people yeah, at yeah. once. Go we ahead. Have to, oh, go. that's what she said. Here <laughs> or three. Shut up over there, Sorry. Fulton. Nothing. Sweat. Pam Boner. Nuzzle, yeah. Buddy. yeah, there you go. Dude. You like it, I right? like it. Buddy, nuzzle. <laughs> this is really good. In the school vagina. Check Question. this one off the list. Question. Can I fire one at you? Can I? Can we talk about the beginning days of stand up and uh, and uh, like first horror gig of of your stand up career? Like the worst thing that you did? Well, the worst thing I ever did. Well, I started stand up comedy when I was only 15 years old. Wow. Yeah. So Last year, young. and now you're headlining, you've got, boom. And now I'm famous. Yes. Um, so 15, like, your parents were cool with you get, like, in the clubs? No, they weren't. They wanted to prove to me that I couldn't do it so that that way I would do good in school. Reverse psychology. Yeah. And look at you. You and proved I'm, them wrong. And, and, and that's why I don't talk to them now. Oh, really? Fuck you, Mom. <laughs> yeah. Where Are is you, she? Oh, they don't. <laughs> she's, she's actually not here. She's not here, and they don't have the internet back at their house. Are you gonna so like throw dirt it. on the grave and like spit no, and be she, like but, I showed you? But now she's like, oh, I guess you knew what you were doing. Now she says that. You it's only kind now of a relationship with them. Though. This is how I sleep on her vagina. Wait, the same as me. <laughs> That's why you remind me of mom. <laughs> but, but so you started at 15. Um, yeah, so 15. And, and did you start getting serious about it when you were 15, or were you just yeah, like a 15 year old no. pissed off kid? Like I'll show you. No, I was. I was really good. I used to go on stage with them, um, and I used to wear Incredible Hulk pajamas. Because mm -hmm. I would say I have to get up for school the next day. Nice. <laughs> Gary still uses that bit now. I it, open you with open it. Right. With it, yeah. Well, he's never written a bit in his life, actually. Yeah, but it works for you. I like it. I think it, it pulls off. <laughs> that close to the croc on a bit. Um, and, and so did you start doing, like, in New York? Yeah, my mom and dad, well, my dad used to bring me around to the clubs, and I was actually... People were nice to me, but but then I went to one show when I was 16, and and the people didn't like me, and they started talking over me, and I had never bombed before, right? So I started telling them that they all sucked, and that I was going to be famous, and that they all have miserable lives, and uh, and and then the guy who was my mentor, who used to bring me around, he's like, I never want to see you again, because really, because I embarrassed him. And who was this? Is someone we know? His name is a Dick Lord. Seriously, <laughs> true. I swear. Oh, no. yeah. yeah, he's an all-time Catskills comedian, and he ran a comedy class, and I was the youngest one in his class. Right. And then he would bring me around to perform, and then I got really like a like a trained monkey. Like he would be like, get out and do some comedy. Yeah, yeah. And then he would like get you back into the yeah. windowless van. I don't want to do this show again. <laughs> <laughs> Is that okay? We can take off right now. Okay. He's gonna walk out. <laughs> no, but so, but he, he like was that a rift between you guys? Like well, no, like I really did. Like he was my he was my mentor. Yeah. He was like this really famous. Well, he wasn't famous, but he had been on TV, and that to me was famous. Right. Right. So. um... So then I, I went around and, and then I did this show and the people weren't paying attention and so I started saying, you guys suck, you think you're so much better than me but you're not and I'm going to be famous and you guys all have sucky lives and, uh, and, and then Dick Lord had set up this show Yep. and then and the owner was like, boy that guy's out there putting down my audience and right. he was like, I never want to see you again. But you were 16, he couldn't just forgive you this one time? Like you're, when you're 16 and also when you're on stage and it's going that bad, like you know. And also, you want to hear another story I about do. Dick Lord? He took me down into his basement. <laughs> I can't believe his name is Dick Lord. Yeah. Well, you can't hear what he... can't be his name. It is his name. Dick Lord. Look Google him up. Google it. 
Google it. Google it. <laughs> not not during if the I show, Google Jesse. Dick Lord, I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of results. Well, he's been in a couple of pornos too. But. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. So tell us this other story about Dick Lord. So then. Um, I forgot what basement. I was going to say. Basement. You were going... So Dick Lord took me into his basement, and then he's like, um, you, you're you very talented, and I think you're going to be successful if you undress. No, he said to me... No, I was getting turned on. <laughs> he said to right? me, I think you'll be successful if you keep trying at it. And as he started talking, he started smoking pot out of a bowl. Okay. And I had never seen anyone smoke pot before. Right. And I was like, oh my God, the guy's smoking pot. Like I was, <laughs> right in front of you? Yeah, and I was like, should I turn him in? Like, should I tell on him? And oh, like you thought it was like a felony. Like it was bad to yeah, smoke yeah. pot, I thought. But right. he was a performer, and then I learned like, oh, performers are supposed to smoke pot. Right. Well, and that's like, is that something that you've ever like on stage drink or, or do anything? I don't or do, do you anything. Like I'm nothing. so boring. Like straight edge. Yeah, I don't do anything. Like, nothing. But it is prevalent in comedy, Me right? And Gary, I mean, every now and then we do a little X before the show. Just half a little. tablet. Half, <laughs> half, half tablet. tablet. Half yeah. But sometimes what you don't know is that I won't pop mine. Like, I got to wait to, to not pop you'll it. You'll just put it in I like get to squirrel it to the side. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can throw it to the side. Yeah. Uh, some more. The comic some more taught me how to do this. And um, you to pop yours, and then right. he pops a Viagra, and then it's all And then it's long. awesome. And I usually miss the show. And then if this was his penis, this is what I do later. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Which, I mean, that's your go-to move with everyone's it penis is. and vagina. You yeah. do a lot so of not, genital I'm not sleeping. Feel oh no! I, bet I will only want yours from now on, and then right. never from now on. Yeah. Never anyone right. else's. I want your bowl of vagina. Um, I mean, <laughs> I'm here with Gary and Mitch. Uh, uh, Mitch Fatel has a brand okay. new DVD. We're gonna give this away at the end of the show. But why don't why don't you do this? Why don't you throw out like a question to the audience? And uh, what we're gonna do is we'll give away one yeah. of the DVD. That's we're gonna. My, that's my second CD. I have two. Super Retardo. Yeah. yeah. It's very funny. And this is the second one. That's my second one. Gotcha. And the first one was? Mini Skirts and Muffins. That's right. And uh, when I was posting about you being on the show, a lot of people were like, Mini Skirts and muffins, muffins, everything on there. That was Do you like, get, you want to hear a story? I want to hear a story, but I don't. No, okay, no, it's important. No, I'm, I'm, there's, I'm this, there's this girl, she just emailed me that she's getting a muffin tattoo with from the muffin on my um. CD. That's that is very hot. so. Is you, what yeah. are you gonna? I said, don't do that, Mrs. Cannon. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> you are, that was your I wait, your email. No, <laughs> for real, she's getting the tattoo. Yeah. So how are you gonna prove it? Are you gonna get to? See yeah, I it? told her to make a video of it, and then I'll come on the show and I'll show you the video. Dude, I can't wait to yeah. see that. Yeah. All right. So I'll why did? Um, here's but what I want you to do, tits. Mitch. Who the girl? Yeah. How do you know her? I just know. <laughs> she knows who it is. Um, all right, so uh, here's what, if you want to win one of the CDs, we have three CDs to give away, one DVD. Signed. We'll sign them. Uh, and they're going to be signed. Oh, no, no, all no, you no. have to do is, uh, is LV is going to post something to her Twitter account, and she's going to have an email in there. Uh, so let's think of a question that we could already throw at people uh, from already what's like happened trivia, in the show. Like a trivia Like a trivia question? So that they would have been watching, and this will be for one of the I CDs. I got a good one. Wait, hold on. LV, question? <laughs> I got a good one. I want to hear it. LV, do you have something? Oh, I'm supposed to come up with a question? No, no, no. He's coming up with one. I've got questions for them. Okay, hold on. Uh, so give one. So Ooh, it has to be LV. proven that they watched the show. Yeah, so far. and then What they comedy could... club did Gary Cannon talk about when we started the show? That's a great one. Oh, All right. Good so the question one. is... Hey, guys, high five. High five. Yay. Up top. Nice. <laughs> so, I thought about that. I want to sleep on Jesse's vagina. All right, so... Uh, <laughs> We got. We have a note for that. That's in our production notes. Uh, <laughs> uh, get him M and M. I can't believe you got me to sign that contract. I know. Do we have a do, way sweetheart? with chloroform. Um, so here's what's going to happen. LV is going to Twitter that out. Uh, that question that Mitch just gave and put the email <laughs> address. That's going to be for one. So I'm already going to put this aside okay. so we know that, so that they're, one's gone. That one's gone. Well, what if somebody doesn't answer? We got to put it back. No, in the no. Pool? They're going to. They're going to answer. We have rabid fans. Yeah, th these rabid. are pretty bright people. I mean, they are crazy. Yeah. No. 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 Uh, Sounds like a John. I don't like that. Short, huh? Um, we can work on that. Oh my God, Dane Cook. <laughs> Where? <laughs> right over there. He's got a guitar. Everyone. <laughs> Actually, you're not the only one. Do, 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 you wanna... do a karate kick, Dane. Do you want to do a little bit of your song? 
John, just show pimple. Mitch, because Mitch hasn't heard it before. I like the sweat pimple. John, don't you're giving me the John's no. John's being a I diva. Can't, do, what? I can't play. I can't play. Oh, we oh, can't yeah, play French right. song. I think, you're, I think you're really talented. Yep. I was laughing at your song. Oh, thank you. Oh, and now he's giving us the no. He can't play it because it's part of his band. His band is. I want to fall asleep on your anus. You have a lot of plans tonight. I have a couple songs in the in the in the works for for this vagina sleeping thing. All right, good. Why don't we? Why don't we get some? You look like Dane Cook. We do have a song called You Look. Like Dan Cook. Oh, let me yes. hear a little bit. Of it's it. like, uh, but this is from the fresh. This yeah, is not from John. Yeah, see, at the all. thing, it's a little weird song now because normally I wouldn't be singing it, another guy would be explaining it to me. Exactly. You know, it's like, uh, You look like Dan Cook. Oh, yes, you do. And just a little like Will Ferrell, too. <laughs> you look like Dan Cook. It's just a fact. I will just roll with it so I can tap that ass. Yeah! yeah. That was a little sample from uh, the Laugh Factory. Ooh, Ooh and my friend Sarah Giller says, uh, you're way hotter than Dane Cook. Hey, oh, what's up, Sarah, Sarah and Jared? Um, so Which wants to sleep on your vagina? Which <laughs> wants to sleep on your vagina? Let me sleep on your vagina. Let <laughs> sorry, Stu, sorry, Stu. That's all right. Um, all right, we're going to get the chat room in here in just a little bit so they can ask questions for, for uh, both of you guys. But since you guys are on the road together, I need a road story from both of you guys. We in the last couple really weeks, we have a lot of we, All right, so pick one, and then I want more of these. Can I we want, do like a huddle up thing? Yeah, you guys can huddle up. Huddle it up and, and like pick which road story, because okay. these guys are on the road. <laughs> <laughs> all right. San Jose. Uh, good okay. San Jose. San Jose. San Jose. <laughs> okay. San Jose. Okay. Here's road story with Mitch and Gary. This is a great road story. Okay. Good. All right, go okay. for it. So, we're in San Jose. <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay. That's all I remember. <laughs> so, um, so there's two girls who are, who, who are, are uh, one girl is a very big fan of mine. Yes. So she came to the show and she brought this other girl. They were really cute. Love so, this. so, so the really, so the one that came to see me, I didn't want to talk to because she's a little psychotic. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, she's like a stalker type. She was heavy. No, she wasn't heavy. <laughs> no, was she heavy? Was no, no, psychotic means crazy. No. Just so, oh. Right. Right. Oh. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, and she brought a friend. So, anyway, so the friend liked Gary. Nice. Oh. Taking one for the team. Right. Good Love story. it. So, Gary and her start texting because she asks for Gary's number. Okay. So then Gary, uh, I'm in the green room after the show, and I'm getting and I'm getting packed up. San Jose has two green rooms. Okay. Two big green one and the small one. Big one and the small one. We're in the big one. Gary comes running in with this big red face. Red face, do red face. Like that almost, like red. Ooh. And it, it, <laughs> I, he's got the biggest smile on his face. Right? Like, you I have go, to act it out a little because he's yeah, telling the story with you. Smile on his face. Biggest smile on his face ever. <laughs> <laughs> and he walks in and he goes, that, that girl just blew me in the green room. What? <laughs> That's the just, one girl who right. was not the friend, the he, other girl. He came off stage, he, oh, and the other she girl. goes, and she was like, you're really funny. And Gary just goes, come on, are we going to do this or what? <laughs> I grabbed her hand, brought her up to the other green room. Right. Started making out. Right. Uh, Shut, hey, let's show how we were making out. <laughs> <laughs> and do it for real. For, it, no. for real. Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. Just all for right. the story. So, yeah, blow it, blow look, him. you can do it. So, so we're in the we're in the we're in this other green room. Yep. Uh, within seconds, this girl is giving me a, a so, homer, so, right? So she she's not she's not very classy. Right. So um, Am I blowing really? blowing a comedian at San Jose. So no, she doesn't have a lot of class. So <laughs> so Gary comes in now. She's my, still in that green room. I come running across right. to his green room because you you ran out of tape. Right. And he goes, <laughs> that girl just blew me in a green room. And my first response, what would you think it would be? Did you film it? Will she blow me? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. Clearly. And the guy goes, go in there. <laughs> like she, like she was doing I, a seminar. Yeah, go in there. Something to do with learning think, annex. Yeah. I think she'll blow you. So I go, should I? He goes, go. I, she's just waiting. Waiting. So I walk in and Gary will recreate this part. I walk into the green room and she's sitting on the couch <laughs> Putting back in her tongue ring. Oh. So, right. Wow. Uh, and I go, hey, uh, Gary told me I should come in here. <laughs> and she goes, why? <laughs> and I go, I don't know. He said something really good would happen. Nice. She I goes, like where you're going with this. I don't know what he's talking about. I go, well, what happened in here? She goes, 
Your buddy just blew his load in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So she's not very right. classy. No, not no. at all. So, <laughs> no. So, uh, so I go, I go. Uh, I could tell by the tongue ring already. Yeah, yeah. We were not dealing with like I have to the get back to my yes, variety. my mayoral duties. So, um, so she goes, yeah, I just blew a guy before him that looked like Dane Cook. <laughs> oh, what? Like, well, what? A little like Will Ferrell. <laughs> So, so uh, he no, had a guitar. He so, was in San Jose so that I weekend. Go, so I go, uh, can I put, can I get a blowjob? Yep. Good and question. And she goes, you want me to go down on you now? Like that's shocking. Right. <laughs> right. And I go, yes, I would. And she goes, okay. <laughs> She goes, okay. Right. And now tell them what the next thing you saw so here, was. So here's the great visual. I'm walking down the hall, right. uh, trying to avoid the screen room, and all right. of a sudden I see Mitch's hand come around the door right. to jiggle the handle to make, make sure, sure that the locked. door was locked. <laughs> so I can just see Mitch's hand jiggling the door. <laughs> and he notices his lock. He puts his hand back in and shuts the door. The door. <laughs> nice. Yeah. It's on the road with Gary and Mitch. Wow. Yes. That, um, was, that then, was a good story. That is a great story. And then, uh, and then she blew me. And then, and then I always wonder, does that mean now I've had sex with Gary Cannon? Because his, because yep. your semen is, it was in her mouth, right? And right. it went into your penis. It's in my penis yeah. now. The semen is right. definitely which in means your penis. that you it's could be carrying your Gary's baby. <laughs> Let me get the glass. Yeah, which means. Did you look like? <laughs> <laughs> that looks like, you look like Fred Armisen a little bit. Oh, yeah, you do. A little bit right now. I don't want to fuck like myself. Fred All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're, 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 we're with Mitch Fatale. I Fatel. think this is the best show I've ever done. <laughs> I, I love it. You were leaving 10 minutes ago, now he's, he's loving Can loved. I just All comment right. really quickly on the fact that she said that, she, that he blew his load in her mouth and made it like a... Are you going somewhere with this? Like... She didn't blow him. He blew his load in my mouth. Oh, like, I, I had she, nothing. She I could like, not blow him. Look, okay? I was just hanging just, wallpaper. I was hanging and out, and, and he blew fairness, a load in my mouth. In fairness to her, she didn't really like him. Me, she said, right. you can blow your load. Right, right, right. <laughs> yes. and in fairness, she has stopped those slutty behaviors since you guys have been engaged. She, and she, 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 stopped. Stopped. <laughs> she will not do it anymore. Well, love changes people. She has not done and, it. And in all fairness, she had a 15-minute break from TGI Fridays. So you she have to admire to her moxie and do it. All right, uh, let's open it to the chat room because we're live and interactive with Mitch <laughs> and Gary. I don't think she works at TGI. Right, right. No, he's saying yeah, no. Yeah, we've got some questions. Okay, oh, so uh, Mitch Fatel and Gary Cannon, they're on the road together, what, 45 weeks a year? 40 weeks. Um, so many great shows coming up. An hour and a half of the greatest comedy you'll ever see. Let's get questions yeah, from Mitch and Gary. Comedy. Chat room, you. I got a, this is you. a question from Vegs. Okay, Vegs. Uh, could Stu ask Mitch what it was like to date April Macy? So Stu, could you please could you please ask him? Okay, here I go, Vegs. What was it like to date April Macy? Okay, make believe this was her vagina. Okay. okay. Don't you Tell dare me. sleep no. on that vagina. Cause she'll get jealous. This is what Don't I did. You no, dare. She'll get this jealous. is what I did. Get that skanky <laughs> vagina out of my apartment. I only sleep on Jesse Schneiderman's What's vagina. What's wrong with this vagina? It doesn't smell that bad. Wait, why does it, it have such a deep it voice? Does, it doesn't smell that bad. No, actually, actually, it's more like the deep voice. I work great C clubs around this country. Oh, you wow. get out of my bed, April Macy vagina. I like Jesse Schneiderman. I'm just going to take a little nap. I begs there is your answer yeah, right there. you? You shut up, Je Screw you, April Mike. Macy's vagina. Screw you. You, well, you, you, I'm leaving. you should shave. <laughs> this is the only answer we've ever gotten with like props in the answer. Like I needed to use your hand. All right, more questions from the chat room for okay, Mitch Fatale, Gary questions. Cannon. Thanks, Bags. Yes. Bags. Uh, this is from Justin. A question for Gary. Whoa. Let's do it, Gary. How's Augie? What was it like working with Augie? Do you think Augie got gypped in episode four? Don't you just love <laughs> Augie? A lot of Augie. La oh, he's let a mutual me, friend. Let me just say this. I, uh, my buddy and I used to do a show, a here. show on, on this network. Yes, on absolutely. TV. Revolutionary we, show. We, we, we did it for about six weeks. Yep. This network Man, couldn't come up with enough money. Came into your yes. life. Couldn't yes. come up with enough money to pay us. Yes. We won four Emmys. We got the F out. Yep. We're, we're, we're across the street at a, at a bigger studio. People can um, still see it on demand. We're, we're, we do a show now on, on the stream.edu. Nice. <laughs> so you know that, that's a network that exists. But we do it. We get paid a lot of money. Um, <laughs> I love fantasy laughs. That is uh, say, rad um, nerds in the uh, in the lobby right now. <laughs> we do this show on, on the stream that 
calm. Okay, okay. <laughs> but I don't see. I, 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 you oh, get out great. of my house, April Macy vagina. You don't talk to me that I way. I talk to you however I want. All right, four penises in at once. Okay, okay. we we got to give another CD Who away. Won that one. Because we we know <laughs> Noah. By the way, <laughs> Noah Noah won the first one. Noah, you won the first one. You won this, and we'll tell you. How All right, we got to give another one away. Tonight, Super retardo, by the way. Mitch Fatel's second they're, CD. They're it's burn copies. Brand by the way. new. We're not gonna give you brand yeah. new. There's actually what Super Fudge greatest hits. You told me to give him a broke um, case, but. All right, we need another question. You want to come up with it? You want to come I'll up with it? I'll have my opening act guy Cannon come up with it. Okay, Mitch. Question. All right, so Gary, come up with something from the last couple stories. Um, okay. Or last story. What was uh, what was the uh, uh, the guy uh, doing down in the basement when? Um, Oh! When you walked in. Okay. The, 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 the what was Lord... Dick Diggler. Dick, Dick Lord. Dick, okay, Dick Lord. <laughs> what what was do? Dick Lord doing Dick in the Lord. basement? All right, right. so that's Good a question. question. To win this, you have to answer, what was Dick Lord doing in yeah. the basement when he brought Mitch Fatel down? And you will win this second CD. Hey, where's Chewy, by the way? Isn't he on this show? <laughs> no. The little, little guy? He had Doesn't the night... Chewy do the show? Yeah, he was scoring us some math. Oh, tonight. <laughs> I heard he was a porn I can't but believe I you're mistaking me show. for a blonde, drunk comedian. Wow. That is unbelievable. This is me talking to Chelsea's vagina. <laughs> <laughs> you get out of my apartment, Chelsea vagina. <laughs> you think I smell like Jägermeister? No, she would talk higher. <laughs> you think I... Give it to me. I don't do voiceover work here <laughs> in LA. You what? You don't think I... You bitches be shopping. This is me. All right. Okay, Chelsea Vagina, I love you. I make so much money in this town. A lot. Wow, he gave it a real kiss. You guys I really are question. on the road. Okay, go for it. Chat room. Go for it. All right, just to let you guys know, Ready if you want to IM me, yes. I am me. Is, can we get her camera to face down a little more for people? I'm probably, you know what? That's up to Jared, if Jared wants you're to do be, it. You're going to be chewy. Hit All right, go ahead, Jesse. Um... Listen, if you want to IM me, talk to me personally, privately, on IM. <laughs> privately. I am me at the stream TV. That's the stream D O T TV. And if you have any questions for Mitch or Gary, or for me, or for Stu, or for John, or for whoever, yes. I am me at the stream TV. The stream D O T TV. And right now, I have got a question from film fan. Okay. How do they each deal with hecklers? Hmm. Good question. That film is. fan. <laughs> Thank you, film fan. Do you want to take it first? Yes. I this make believe you're a heckler. Get, so there I was, having sex with... Boo. Where's Joe Coy? Y you take it in the back, motherfucker. You don't look like Lavelle Crawford. You <laughs> can suck... I'm gonna blow my load in your mouth. <laughs> is your, are you Ralphie May? I'm talking... This is off the top of my head. Oh, this is, this is improv, right? This is how I deal with it. You, oh, yeah, Keep well, you're on. so Wait, fat, <laughs> you, why don't you eat another meal? <laughs> can I, can I uh, give you my hand as a vagina? Give me that hand. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most innovative heckler I'm dealing so with you right now. Yeah. That's how you deal with it. Yeah. Look at that. Uh, what Gary about you, Gary? Upset. Gary got Gary's, upset at a heckler I, the other day, and I got mad at him. Well, let me just say this. We're, we were, Very good we're, at We're going to be an honest. We're going we're gonna to get an honest answer. We were working in Seattle a couple of weeks ago. Okay. And there were two girls in the very front row. Right. And right next to them was this guy uh, who was worst. trying to hit on these two girls as the show sex was going with on. Her yeah. Bad. Right. They were just hitting. This yeah. guy was just hitting, buying them drinks right in front of me. Right. And normally I can handle it and, and play yes. the character. But I, I said to those girls, I was like, can you ladies shut the F up? Shut it was the right. F up, yeah. he goes. And I said to so him afterwards, I was like, that yeah, means, I got a little mad. I go, that means that they won if they got you mad. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, we're working at a club in Florida one time, not Tallahassee, Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. And there was a security guy who normally should be policing the room. He was literally standing in the back of the room watching the show as some guy was mouthing off to Mitch. Really? And Gary literally. goes back and Gary's like, dude, you gotta go tell that guy to shut up. And the guy was like, what? Yeah, are you sure? Should I? I mean, like, I literally had to, so many times these, these clubs don't have great security, and I have to go run and get somebody to bring over if somebody's getting out of it. But yeah. we don't normally get that. Yeah. We're, we're no, because like, uh, we're, we're, we're good comedians. Yeah, people aren't going to mess <laughs> yeah. with you guys. All right, um, here's what we're going to do. We're going to get to the 60-second so gauntlet. Let, give, give some, thank you very much for that, by the way. We have to give away uh, this another CD, another DVD. That's we, a grand we got to get way. to the gauntlet. Uh, so mm -hmm. why don't we let Jesse ask one more question, then we go to the gauntlet, then we got to give these away, and then we got to get out of here, because Rad Nerds are coming on at... Do people Tana still call. ask about Show Us the Funny? I mean, because after yes. we won like six Emmys, oh, we yes. bailed. A lot of people. Yeah. All right, Jesse, over to you. Okay, this is from Sergeant Silent. Does Mitch or Gary have a joke even they think is too much, so they don't tell it? <laughs> too much. Oh. Like too far. Too far. Uh, oh. Hmm. What do you think? Y yes. 
Tell but it. I will never tell a joke about the fact that Gary's dad is dead. <laughs> yeah, because that's pushing Because that's sensitive to him. Right. Like, uh, I want to make a lot of jokes like, oh, look, Gary, people in the audience aren't laughing. They're like, your dad, they're dead. <laughs> right. But I know that that would hurt your feelings. And then you start, you do like a Monica Lewinsky thing about like that dress and like it being stained and stuff yeah, like that. That's my then, edgy stuff. That's your edgy stuff. <laughs> and I was like, that might be a little old, buddy. And then you're like, no, but I think the audience can still relate to that dress stain. And, well, that's you because know. that follows your Lorena Bobbitt bit so perfectly. Mitch will then pull out like a cigar and he's like, oh, I don't understand. And then be like, I don't know her. <laughs> and he does a Clinton, yeah, but dude, worse. Like this. He's like, I no, don't I do know. it good. Let's hear yours. I did not have I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. He does like eight impressions All right. at the end. This is like the night of technical nightmares because I, uh, I, I can't load the gauntlet. So here's what we're going to well, do. I we have questions. I, we have questions. We need to give away the CD and the DVD. So why don't we come up with two more right at, at the same time? You can come up with one, you can come up with one. So we can give it away to our viewers. And then we've got to wrap that, up that the show. That's a hard one. Yeah, well, okay. I will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We okay. Gotta, gotta, so let's. Stop with the double entendre. Oh. Yeah. So let's give away the CD right. and then come up with a question for the DVD. Who won the first two? No one. Who won the second one? We I just, don't know. We don't know. Oh. oh. oh hold on. Wait. Uh, we're Can checking we right now. Because we're going to have to 1099 these people for the luxury <laughs> tax. <laughs> Absolutely. I got the greatest. Thomas. Heart. Thomas won the second one. I okay, got we'll the greatest heart okay. question. Here we okay. go. This is for the DVD or CD? CD. Now, yeah, I'm going to ask the question and then Jesse's going to put the answer. Okay. The, the question is, what percentage of chance do I have of sleeping on Jesse's vagina tonight? And then they have to guess, and she'll have the number. Okay, all right, so Jesse, this oh. is a two-part. So you're going to have to think of what that percentage is, Jesse, right. and then they have to guess the percentage. And, and, also, like, and also, This is the I, most complicated question. And also, I've been on uh, the Letterman show and right, the Tonight Letterman. Show, yeah. and I know a lot of people I can introduce you to. Right. Yes. <laughs> so given that... He just upped the ante. What do you guys think Jesse's going to write on that card? Everyone's writing 1,000%. Uh, everyone's writing 100%. And wow. what? Uh, and then she has to write it on that. Okay. Well, that's so, what people are saying. She what, hasn't written the number yet. Okay. So do you have to guess what percent chance? No, this no, is for the DVD. Have to guess. Okay, so they have that's to guess. for the DVD. Okay, fine. And we need one more for this. Gary, you want to help okay. us with see. this okay, one? Okay, I, I will give out, I will give out It can be something from the website, too. They can go have to look for it. For, you mean on the... Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah. Okay. Um, where did uh, Mitch and I play uh, for 4th of July? 4th of July. Okay, yeah. so to win the CD, where did Mitch and Gary no. play on the 4th of July? You getting that, that LV? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's for the CD. Where did they play on the 4th of July? And to win the DVD, mm -hmm. you have to guess what percentage chance... Oh, I like that. That's a good one. Jesse's going to have... No, Mitch, Mitch is going to have to sleep on <laughs> Jesse's vagina tonight. Not to have sex with her, just to no, sleep just on to it. No, just to sleep like on to it. to nuzzle on it. Okay, nuzzle. so don't we have to reveal that, Jesse? Do you need the whiteboard from yeah, LV? Yeah, but what if no one gets it? Uh, all right. What do I do with the whiteboard? Tell me the answer. Yeah. Oh, write it? Yeah. You're going to write it, and you know what? If they don't guess it, then they're the person who was the first to repeat the answer. And then we got to wrap up, because the gauntlet ain't going to happen tonight, because I have a technical issue. So we've got to wrap up, like, right now, because rad nerds are coming on. So you got to show us the percentage, and we're going to wrap up and get out of right. here uh, with Mitch Fatel, Gary chance? Cannon. By the way, check out both their websites, yeah. GaryCannon.com and MitchFatel.com. We're going to be yeah. uh, we're gonna be in San Francisco starting tomorrow at the Punchline, a week For after that at weekend. the McCurdy's in Sarasota, Sarasota Florida, Florida, New Year's yeah. Eve, Hartford, Connecticut. At the so look at this. Punchline this coming weekend, yep. Sarasota Here the north. following weekend, Yep. and then uh, where, where over the... Uh, Hartford, Connecticut. Hartford, Hartford, Connecticut. Hartford. Because I have connections. Yep. So MitchFatel.com, GaryCannon.com. Okay, what's the percentage? So we what, by the way, what do you think it was? I think it, it was 79%. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to go what, with... And uh, I wonder what Gary thinks. What about you? Uh, I would say uh, 63%. Really? Ooh. John, what, what do you think? Well, I, I'm going to pretend like I didn't see the answer. So <laughs> I'm going to guess... Okay. Um, I'm going to go 100%, and both the zeros were used as smiley faces, and it was, it was underlined by a yes, I will. Interesting. Okay. All right, let's get the answer, LV. Show let's us. This is this is the percent wait, wait, chance. This is very Mitch Fatel for sleeping on Jesse's vagina. Nuzzle. Show Just us. Just sleeping, nuzzling. You got to show us. Nuzzling. Can you see it? Legally, 100%. That's 100%. That does say 100%. <laughs> what did it say? What did it say? I'm legally, I'm legally obligated, so I don't really have any options. 
I signed it's the contract. It's I don't 100%. know what the, So what does that mean? That means I'm It's oh, 100%. Buddy. That means Nuzzle time. Yeah. Nuzzle time. Get over here. All right, that's our show nuzzle, for tonight, nuzzle. everybody. That is 100% chance. Whoever writes that in first, you will win the DVD. Nice. Mitch Fatel is magic. Go to MitchFatel.com, GaryCannon.com. How to big hand for our guest, everybody. Yes. Thanks for having us, bud. Uh, we will be back next week with Steve Byrne. Comedian Steve Byrne will oh, wow. be here. That's right. And uh, these guys will be at the punchline. And then next week in Tallahassee, Sarasota. 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 Sarasota Florida. We'll be back next week. Uh, check out LiveFromTheFuture.com. Add us at Twitter. And check out these guys. Big hand for these guys because they were awesome. Thank you very much. And we'll see you next week. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Mitch Faithell said it. He can sleep on my vagina anytime. That's our show. We're going <laughs> to say goodnight. We like to stay forever, but it just ain't right. That's our show. We're gonna say goodnight. The guests were all so funny, yeah, they sparkled in the light. And then later, when Mitch gets to sleep on Jesse's vagina, it's gonna be a real wet dream, baby. It's gonna be a moist dream, very moist. And I wouldn't be surprised if Gary stopped by, cause it sounds like they like to share a lot of things, and I think that's great. Let's get you on in here. So I want to say what's up to Sarah Giller and Jared, Drink Moxie, Dead Silent, Cuba Snack, Cynical Optimist, Digimap, Dick Nam, DK Tens, D Diz Knockout, DZ Knockout, Elohim, Arum, yeah, Film Fan, Fish Dick, Flying Hammer Fist, Food for Thought. Fresh.